about the history of Challenger Little League. I did just a little, you know, go to the website. I clicked about started in 1989. I believe it's named for the space shuttle Challenger, and it is for individuals with physical and intellectual challenges. There's been a league, you told me, in Sid and Hazleton since 92, 92 and yes. so it's been, it goes back a little bit in our area. It, it goes back a long way, 27 consecutive years. Um, it was formed by the late Ron Cray, and he ran the program up until Jack Molesky took it over in 2007 and he ran it till 2014 and now we have Joe and Jennifer Droshock who've been running the Challenger program for us since then. How much time do they put in? I was there um, and I saw just how many kids and what's going on. I'm sure it's not an easy job and you've only had three or four people running it over all these years. They must Overall care years. a lot. Yes, they, they do. <laughs> um, they're deeply involved and you know they, they do have a, a child and children involved as well. Um, but they put a lot of time into it and you know they play every Saturday morning but it's a yearly ongoing thing just the work involved to make it happen. And Mr. Burns talk about how hard it is to get the team into the Challenger Division um, World Series feature game. Well it, it's uh, you have to apply we've applied we applied for nine years before we got accepted this year finally and it's a uh, it's an application process and you have to go through through the process with Little League uh, International. There's 950 challenger divisions in 10 countries worldwide so we're, the competition is pretty stiff. Uh, we're probably the closest team that's been there ever. And you'll get picked to go back again you said this is it. No this is it. It's <laughs> one, once in a lifetime there's no repeats so we got to do it right the first time. And Ed um, there are challenges to getting out there. You guys said you're bringing family members, you're bringing more than just the rostered players. Yes. You want everyone to enjoy the moment because it is once in a lifetime, but you need some, you need some help to do that. Absolutely, um, we, we definitely need some help from the community um, to make it happen because we've always done our challenger program at no cost to the families. No registration fees, no cost. They've never had to pay for anything. The league absorbs all that through donations and sponsors. So we're looking to do the same thing for this as well. And it's it's a big number. Just hotel rooms alone are, it's astronomical. You know, we're bringing 15 players, but 20 some of the kids are going to be going with families. So we have over 130 people attending, 40 rooms reserved. Reaction from the kids, from the parents, and how did you tell them? How how did this all go? When they found out that they were going to the Little League World Series? Well, I held a meeting with the Challenger families and, and of course, coaches and all the players. Uh, when we let them know, they've known f that we've been trying for this for a few years, but none of them had any idea that we were accepted. Myself and Jim knew probably well over a month before we even put it, were allowed to put it out there to the, the coaches and the family. So it was to see their faces, a lot of tears happened that day when we told them. And then you got to go out and be part of the draw, I think. And there was some great, I think Dave Steven from the Standard Speaker went out there. There was a great story. The kids seemed like they had a ball. They were hanging out with the major leaguers and just, they, they fit right in. Yeah, that was, uh, <laughs> that was something unexpected. They reached out to us, asked if we want to be a part of it. And I'm like, well, yeah, of course, you know. So we got two of the families and the kids to go out. And they were the actual ones that picked the draw of the whole World Series. So it was pretty cool. And what major leaguers were there? I mean, there were some big, big time players there. They had um, Mookie Wilson from the Mets and uh, Gary Matthews from the Phillies. They were they were there to promote the major league game oh, that's yeah. going to be that Sunday. Uh, the Mets and the uh, and the Phillies. And did you get to talk with them? I talked to a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, I did. Really, we did. Um, I talked to Mookie Wilson because as a Met fan and. Uh, I told him, I said, yeah, I remember you hit the, the, the most famous baseball in the history of the Mets. He said, you know, he hit the ball that went through Bill Buckner's legs. And uh, he said, I would have beat it out anyway. So get out. It is August 25th. It's a Saturday, 1030, 11 a.m. 1030. 10, 10, a.m. You can watch it live on WVIA. We'll also be there for coverage. And remember, please support the Hazleton Little League. Help them get the kids and families out there. Go to their Facebook page or give Ed a call, guys. Thank you so much for coming in and, and doing this, basically. Get out there and help them out.